Hi guys, I'm Josh Douglas. I just launched my lake here on uh, beautiful Douglas Lake. This is one of my favorite lakes that, that I visit. Uh, pretty sure I might be visiting again next year. So on, on my way back to Minnesota from Lake Norman, I decided I'd, I'd stop and get a little pre-practice in. Hopefully the tournament will be in the fall and, uh, and it'll pay off. Uh, what I wanted to do real quick is show you a trick that I learned. We just came from Fontana Lake, which is up in North Carolina in the Smoky Mountains. And there's something about these Smoky Mountain lakes that they fluctuate so much. I mean, up to 50, 70 feet a year. And uh, on Fontana Lake, I, I learned a trick using my Navionics app on my uh, iPad or my iPhone or, or however you use it, whether it's an Android or whatever. It, it's actually, when, when I get here, the first thing I want to do is try to find structure that I think bass will be holding on this time of year. And being that this lake, as you can see behind me, it's, it's drawing down. It looks like it's drawing down at, at least 30 feet right now. So what I want to do is change my water level on my Navionics app here on the uh, on my iPad. So when I'm running around the lake, I can look for spots that I think are going to be equivalent to this next year and, and kind of get a better familiar, familiarity and make sure I'm spending my time in the areas uh, looking for structure that's in those right depth ranges. It's very simple. Uh, if you have the Navionics app, uh, like I said, on your phone or, or on your iPad, you're just going to hit menu and go into map options and go to water level and I'm just going to drop it down 30 feet. And that's all it is to it. It gives it gives my shoreline a whole different look. It changes out all my all my depth numbers so that when I'm running around, I know where I'm at. It's also kind of a safety thing too with the with the lower water. Um, there's obviously more hazards that are right underneath the water that I want to look out for. And just looking over this, and if you keep your iPad or your iPhone in a in a life proof, you can keep right on the deck of your boat on rainy conditions like today, and, and still utilize these tools while you're on the water. For more information on the Navionics app, you can visit their website. That's www.navionics.com. And for more electronics tips and, of course, fishing videos, please check out my website. That's joshdouglasfishing.com. Tight lines.